watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Today we're going to be looking at a knife that's in the premium series of reviews. That's why you'll have that black logo in the top right corner of this video. This one from Case and Sons, WR Case and Sons, comes in this beige box with the American flag on the front. And you'll notice this says chrome vanadium there at the bottom, so this has a chrome vanadium blade. It says tested XX on the side there. And the website www.wrccase.com. Uh, these come right out of Bradford, Pennsylvania. American made, 100% American made. This is the model number 6982, uh, pattern is 48. The full designation is 61048CV. That CV telling you it is a chrome vanadium blade, which is thought to be some amount of uh, debate about this, but thought to be like a 1085 carbon steel blade. And this is what we're looking at here today. We've got a four inch closed length on this slim line trapper. Uh, this is a pretty traditional style uh, trapper pattern. And uh, it has a very narrow body width, making it the slim line. That's what the gives its name. And then we've got nickel silver bolsters here on either end with brass pins and this nickel silver oval shield. Uh, all the transitions from the handle material to the bolster are very smooth. The pins are very well smoothed out. You don't have anything proud there. The shield feels like it's on there pretty well. Maybe a little bit proud here on the right side, just a touch. But then the bolster over here is just fantastically smooth. And if we look at the back, much the same. And let's take a really close look at the jigging here, if I can sort of magnify this a little bit. Let's try to make it to where I don't have to move it around a ton, but you get the really good look there at the jigging on this knife, and to me this is what makes it worth the amount of money that you spend. You're, you're spending the money on the quality of the handle material, the quality of that jigging and the amount of work done to the handle to smooth it over and make it nice and comfortable in the hand. So there is a close-up look here. Let's check a check a look at this side. You also notice that the color transitions are really nice. You get this sort of a dark ruby red and then it gets to be more of a cardinal red on the outside. So good, good dark dye on this knife and you can see if we look at the edges here maybe the sort of a uh, natural color that you would have had on the bone there with that yellowish off-white color there but uh, on this particular knife we're going to take a real close look at the construction to show that this particular knife is really well made and uh, one of the chief concerns for many people with the knives uh, coming out of case are, you know, the amount of gapping and things on different patterns. I found this one to be really, really acceptable. And uh, if you hold it up to the light with the blade out, there's not any light shining through. And it's just nice and tight throughout. So very good job there by case to uh, alleviate any concern about the construction there. Now the blade's not 100% uh, squared up, but it doesn't rub. You can see there's plenty of space on either end there. Uh, but, you know, it's just uh, just one of those things that really isn't all that important to me. Maybe more of a concern to someone else. It's not going to be perfectly aligned all the time, but it's very close. And, uh, this isn't exactly the most expensive of case knives. It's just barely above that premium point uh, at $50. It's a $55 knife. And I will uh, give a 
website to show where you can get that for fifty dollars and or like fifty one dollars on Shepherd Hill Shepherd Hills cutlery. Um, here at the end of the video, so you can have it just ever so slightly above that fifty dollar price point. But uh, let's take a closer look at the blade, which. What you get with this guy is that CV steel. Again, it's like a 1085 carbon, we believe. Uh, there's the tang stamp on this guy. Just the case XX, and you get the two X's above and below. Um, well, one X above and below, which designates it to be a 2018 uh, knife when it was made. And you get the nail neck there that's... Just your nice standard nail neck. Uh, a good sort of satin finish to the blade. And then there's a good look at the blade edge. And if we look at the other side, we can see it's very uniform on both sides. And this does produce a pretty sharp edge. I've done some paper cutting with it, and it did pretty good. I wouldn't say it was the best I've ever seen, but it's pretty slicey. But a very attractive clip point blade. Nice slender design there. And if we look at the other side, we get the CV designation there and the model number of the knife. Uh, well, actually, the pattern number. And again, and that is a 61048. And then you get the USA designation above that, let you know it is made in the United States. Now there's no uh, half stop on this guy, just your regular traditional style open, which I would have maybe liked to have seen a half stop on this particular type of knife when you have that long blade, no locking mechanism. Uh, might have been a little safer to use. Uh, as it is, I'm not going to be using this hard use. It's just not appropriate for that sort of thing. This is, to me, a very light use knife. I can fold that up rather easily. Uh, without a whole lot of effort, and if you're poking on something, that'd be a big no-no. Unless you just really enjoy cutting yourself. But you have a uh, nice snap on the clothes. Let's say it's about a five and a half on the pole. Very positive lock up there. You can see the how it meshes there at the back of the spring. But yeah, nice nice lock up, but it's it's not going to be firm enough to use this in any super hard work environment where you're going to be doing a lot of draw cuts and uh, that sort of thing where you might snag something and have it close. So just keep that in mind. This this particular pattern um, is not one that I have a lot of, but I do enjoy the slimmer style trappers as a rule and even more so trappers with just a single blade uh, I'm not a huge fan of uh, trappers with two blades and you will probably have noticed that if you paid any attention to the channel and what I review it's definitely not a pattern that you're gonna see a lot of on that channel but this particular pattern from case I've always enjoyed and uh, more importantly I even uh, really appreciate the color of the handle because many of the red knives that I've seen from other manufacturers have a tendency to have more brown in them and this one is much more a true red and really pops and uh, it's uh, it's not holding back on the color there really bright proud looking color and really I like it but I'm just happy to have bought one that I had an opportunity to check out the construction on beforehand. And, uh, yeah, so no issues there with any gaps or anything that uh, is my chief concern with, with Case. I always want to be able to eyeball the knife before purchasing them when I get a Case. But as it is, this was not the most expensive of Case knives in any case, but to me, uh, could have charged more probably. I think that this red handle material and the jig yawning is pretty darn nice. But that's going to do it for my review, guys. I I really have uh, an appreciation for this 
particular pattern. And uh, this is kind of a special moment for the channel because you're not probably going to see it just a just a ton of trappers um, reviewed on the channel. And again, this is in the premium uh, series, but just slightly. So um, it's on the more affordable end of you know case knives at fifty five dollars. But that's going to do it for my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. Everybody have a fantastic day, and please do take care. Hey guys, are you still here? If you are, congratulations, because this is the Easter egg portion of this video, and the reason I'm hiding it is because we've just reached 1,500 subscribers at TK, and I'm going to be doing a giveaway. We're going to be giving away this Watchman rope knife to the winner of the giveaway, and what you'll need to do to enter is this. You need to be a U.S. citizen. This won't be shipped outside of the United States. So you'll have to have some sort of U.S. address if you live outside of the United States. And also, uh, this is only going to be eligible if you do the following. I want you to go to the review I did of a pink sow belly. I'm going to put the link here in the top right corner. Go there and comment rope, R-O-P-E, in the comments. And when you do that, I will then subsequently do a drawing on Monday to pick the winner. And they will win this Watchman rope knife. Now, it won't be this specific knife. This is my personal knife, but one just like it. And I want to congratulate you guys for making it to this portion of the video so that you know to enter. And thank you, everyone, for helping me reach 1,500 subscribers.